All right. This one is 10.3b from the textbook. The question is, calculate mass of O2 gas <clears throat> produced by photosynthesis when 2.49 times 10 to the fourth kilojoules of solar energy is consumed. So they give us this equation here. It's 6 H2O in liquid form plus 6 CO2 in gaseous form. Turns it to glucose, which is a solid, plus 6 O2 gases, right? And we're told that the total enthalpy of this reaction here is 2,803 kilojoules. Now what this is actually telling me is that, all right, if I wanted to produce 6O2 from this reaction, it would be 28O3 kilojoules, right? Likewise, if I wanted to, <clears throat> if I wanted to see how much enthalpy is created, you know, as a result of there being six waters from this entire, you know, this particular reaction, it would be 2,803 kilojoules again, right? So I can use that to set a ratio. It's asking for the mass of O2 produced by photosynthesis. Well, I know how much energy I have. So I know my change in enthalpy here. So <clears throat> here we go. We're going to start off with 2.9 times 10 to the fourth kilojoules of solar energy. Now, I said before we could set a ratio, aka we want to try to find out how much O2 is produced by photosynthesis. If we have a certain amount of energy, well, we know that for 2,803 kilojoules, we should be getting six O2 gases. So here you go. We're going to put the 2,803 kilojoules on the bottom because we want this, these units to cancel out, right? And we could say that, yeah, for every 2,803 kilojoules that is released or absorbed, sorry, from this particular um, reaction, well, we have six O2 gases that are produced, right? So we're going to create a ratio. Now, if I were to stop it at this point, I would have the total number of moles. This actually should be six moles. Uh, we would have the total number of moles if we were to just work this part, right, of O2. But they're not asking for that. They're asking for the mass in grams of O2. So here you go. You know that in one mole of O2 gas, you should have 32 grams of O2 gas, okay? So we're then going to multiply the total number of moles by this to find out the total number of grams we have in, you know, basically the mass of it. So here you go. You've got 1705.6 kilojoules. But... The thing here is that that's not quite the answer yet, because we have three sig figs here, right? In fact, if you look at all the numbers that they provide us, we have three sig figs. So let's convert that to three sig figs, so it's 1.71 times 10 to the third kilo.